Hello everyone, so my rabbit here for Game Watcher. Today we take a look at Nova 111 from Funktronic Labs. Science has gone wrong. An experiment has destabilized space and time, causing 111 of your colleagues to be scattered across realities. It's up to you and the awesomely named Dr. Science to rescue your boffin chums and repair the universe. How are you going to do that? Well, just like in real life, you repair time rifts by solving puzzles, collecting scientists, and headbutting aliens in the face. Nova 111 is a turn-based puzzle adventure game with the twist of some enemies and hazards operating in real time. Early combat works in a similar manner to roguelikes. Every time you move a space, enemies also move, but this gets mixed up as you progress further, with the addition of projectiles that move in real time, fire that burns out and spreads in real time, and ultimately, enemies that move and attack in real time as well. It's exceedingly clever and keeps you thinking. Every encounter in Nova 111 is a puzzle that requires you to use your noggin to progress, not to mention the intelligent use of turn-based and real-time combat in a game all about the disruption of time itself. The mechanics fit the theme perfectly, and Funktronic Labs should be commended for that. Not all puzzles involve direct conflict, however, there is everything here you would expect. Sliding block puzzles, switch puzzles, fanning about with teleporters. Most of the puzzle fair and offer has been seen before, but it is very well executed. You are often given the opportunity to manipulate enemies to assist in solving puzzles, and creative use of the upgrade modules for your ship will see you uncover the many secrets that are scattered throughout the levels. Your ship can be upgraded with a ranged laser attack, a phase shift to pass through objects, and the ability to stop time. The laser attack is useful when outnumbered and can also be used to trigger switches from a distance. Phase shift has great defensive uses as well as being used to progress and stopping time can allow you to get out of many sticky situations as well as through seemingly impossible gauntlets of hazards. Towards the end game, the time control also switches between realities making some objects and enemies active or inactive. This is a very impressive system that leads to several borderline ridiculous sections where reflexes and skill are just as important as grey matter. These upgrade modules are complemented by the collectibles you find scattered around the levels. Health shards permanently bolster the amount of damage you can take, and you can find charges for an AoE attack that damages and stuns all nearby enemies. This encourages you to search every nook and cranny, and even encourages you to replay all the levels with your new toys to make sure you haven't missed anything. All of the module special abilities are powered by science, a general purpose regenerating resource that takes 12 turns to fully recharge, meaning that you have to be very careful what you use and when you use it so you don't end up shafting yourself. In the late game you can earn additional charges of science, allowing you to effectively combo your modules in satisfying ways such as phase shifting out of enemy range before using your laser to trigger a switch that traps the bastard behind a security door. Nova Trail 1 is also very beautifully presented and has a charming hand-drawn aesthetic and has plenty of humour, most of which derives from the endearing, gherkin-loving Dr. Science who is never shy of giving you advice or gallows humour laden encouragement. Funktronic Labs don't come out this entirely swelling of time-bending roses, however, the boss battles in particular are quite disappointing. While they do challenge you to put into practice what you've learned in each section, I personally found some of the environmental hazards and puzzles to be more difficult to overcome than the three boss battles on offer. And that ties in nicely to another bad point, there are only three environments and you could easily complete Nova Einstein Science in four hours. You could get more entertainment out of it by trying to 100% every level or by assaulting the leaderboards, but you could easily finish the game in a single sitting. The lack of Steam Workshop support is a big misstep here, as giving the community the tools to create their own levels and challenges combined with the leaderboards would significantly increase Nova 900 Elf's longevity. Another gripe is the poor options menu, for which there is no mouse support, and the resolution being bound to the monitor's native resolution. Hopefully this will be fixed on launch, but none of this detracts too much from a delightful puzzle game. In conclusion then, Nova All The Ones is a clever, albeit brief puzzle adventure romp featuring an intelligent fusion of setting and gameplay elements. The phase shift and time manipulation have been done before, but Nova 111 wraps it all together in a charming and humorous package and should provide you with an evening or two of decent entertainment. Game Watcher Verdict, a solid 7 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching, I've been Samurai Rabbit, and I'll see you next time.